Yay, we're live. Como están? How's everybody? Please let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me well. I want to make sure that you guys can all hear me. Como están? Saludos a todos. Welcome, welcome. I'm super excited. Porque vamos a estar hablando con la superestrella, the superstar, international superstar, LP. Okay, so that means you guys can hear me. Michael, can you hear me? Fun for Life Radio, can you guys hear me? Hello to everybody. See, sí, okay, yay. I'm glad you guys can hear me because that's kind of important when we're doing an IG Live, right? Hello, LP family from Germany. Okay, I just got news that LP is running five minutes behind because she was, um, you know, doing some vocals and she's five minutes behind. So right now you guys can all talk to me. Yes. Um, let me know. ¿Cómo están? Por ahora quieren que les hablen español o en inglés. Let's do English. Let's do English. Okay. But, um, thank you everybody who's joining. Super excited. Um, like I said, LP just announced that she'll be five minutes behind um five minutes usually means 10 minutes in the entertainment industry world but it's totally worth waiting for lp let's see where are you guys seeing this from where are you guys tuning in from i want to know what country what city de que país ¿Qué ciudad nos están escuchando y viendo de España? Ah, en español. Español, por favor. Yes, 10 minutes, right? Michael knows because he's in the entertainment industry. Tengo música para mandar, but I don't know how to get it in your hands. It's an album package. Okay, you send it to Pili Raúl en la música at gmail.com. Ecuador, Argentina, Texas. Italy and France stayed up all night. Yes, Poland. Oh, I just love... Okay, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you the background on when I met LP. Because obviously she knows, so I don't have to repeat this when she's here. So I met LP about eight years ago at school nights, which is a Monday night at a venue called Bardot in Los Angeles. If you guys have been to Bardot before, raise your hand. Bardo is a venue well known in Los Angeles and every Monday they used to do school nights where new artists would go and perform. And my friend um, Hans, he works at Universal Music and a mutual friend of LP and I, Renato from Mexico, had told me you have to go and check out this girl, she's amazing. Y yo, since I always like music and I always love live music and especially if it's someone new, I want to check them out. I want to see if I like them. Well, I fell in love with LP because if you guys, raise your hand if you've seen LP live. I want to see a show of hands if you've seen LP live. Yes, Renato, see. Okay, so LP en vivo, LP live is amazing. Yes, she's amazing. Rosy Ore Orejel. From Colima says she's amazing. Raise your LP under the rainbow. Raise your hand. Yes. So when I saw, oh, you've seen her 12 times, Marianne. Oh, that was my mom's name. Marianne. That was my mom's name. Hi, Marianne. Uh, she's the best. So if you're a friend of Renato, you meet Julieta. Hey, Julieta? No, I have not met Julieta. Gracias, love, 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 LP. Uh, so anyway, so I, I got a chance to see LP live. I totally fell in love with her and just like her essence and presence on stage are undeniably amazing. And of course, her voice is spectacular. So fell in love with LP and just started like, you know, listening to her music and supporting her. And like eight years later, I've been able to interview her about three times and every time I just learned so much from her and it's such a joy. So I'm excited. Um, sí, aquí esperando a la reina. El, el pieta, she's running five minutes late. So thank you for hanging out, guys. Don't go anywhere. She'll be here shortly. She's just, you know, running a little behind, which for someone as busy as her, that's totally normal. 
Um, LP is one of my favorites. Her vocals are on fire. Yes, Michael. She's just amazing. We've, we've bought all the tickets for her Italian tour. Good. Hi, Bella. Thank you, Sam. Saw your last interview. Loved it. Yes. If you guys um, want to check out my last interview with LP, you can go to Dash. I'm going to write it right here. To Dash Radio on YouTube. And you can check out my interview with LP. All right? There. I Did you guys get it? Yeah. Can't wait to see her in September over here in Germany. I know that girl's going to be all over Europe. Argentina la ama. I see. Gracias, Jesse, por sintonizar. Writing for, L for LP. La esperamos forever. Hey, Rocio. What's up? Okay, so did you guys get a chance to listen to the new single, Goodbye? If you haven't yet, check out Fun For Life Radio. I'm going to write it right here because we'll be playing her song pretty much every hour. So check out Fun For... Fun For Life Radio to listen... To LP's new single, Goodbye. Vale? Did you guys listen to it? Did you guys listen to it? Yeah? Okay, what did you think about it? Yeah, it's out here now. Yes, it's in Germany as well. Goodbye is awesome. Un gusto conocerla. Gracias, Kat. Hello from Slovenia. Hello. I know. So much love for LP. Thank you guys again for your patience. Thank you for sticking around. She's running a little behind, but I just love talking to you guys. Anyway, so back to the story. So I meet LP and I've got, gotten a chance to interview her like three times. And every time it's just, she's an amazing human being. And I have to say, you guys... LP's fans are the best. I mean, I've interviewed Gwen Stefani, Shakira, Pitbull, Sandra Bullock, you name it, a bunch of like super, super, super stars. No, the best fans in the world are LP's fans. So kudos to you guys. Gracias a ustedes, a los seguidores de LP. Ustedes son los mejores fans. En nuestra embajadora de identidad, LP. LP has a gig on my birthday, but no gigs in, oh, in my country. I'm sorry. Maybe they'll live stream it. Then you can watch it. LP and fans is really love. Oh, so proud of her fans. Seriously, your fan, like, you guys as fans are the best. So thank you so, so much for all your support with Fun for Life Radio, with, with myself, and obviously with LP. You guys have, like, I'm your fan now. LP fans, I'm your fans now. We've made a big billboard to... To homage her to Verona Pride. Oh, cool. You're the best too, Peely. Thank you, Peely. Peely, Peely. So much love between the Peelys. Es una reina total. Yes, she's a super queen. Amamos al P. Okay, so what's your favorite LP song? Let me see. Oh, guys, I think we're here. Yes. The queen is here. Yes. Hey, Peter. Good to see you, man. Oh. 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 How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, everybody. Hi. What's up? I miss How you. are you? How are you doing? I'm great. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm like so semi still feel like I'm on vacation. I'm, I'm not. I'm I tell you, do you have vacation from your vacation? Yeah, I'm, I'm vacationing today from my vacation. Well, I'm working, but um, yeah, I'm just chilling. Was it nice? Did you enjoy the water? <laughs> I did. I, I love it. You know, it's like, I can't really get, get too like, I, uh, I need more than five days. Cause then I, I need, that's when I start to like hit my stride, you know? <laughs> right. How long were you there for? Uh, I think I was there, uh, six days or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Just, just enough, but. Just enough. Yeah. Isn't there something about the water that's just so mm -hmm. relaxing? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's the best. And like, and like I said, I think it like creeps up on you. You know, you, you have to give it a minute, you know? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, Babe, congratulations on goodbye. Thank you. Do you like it? I loved it. Okay. You know what I loved about it? I thought it was a very uplifting song. Oh, good. I mean, it, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's own 
Goodbye sounds inherently sad, but it's, it's, you know, it's not supposed, it's supposed to be like a good way to say goodbye, you know? Exactly. <laughs> it was like an uplifting and different way of saying goodbye, which I really appreciate. So do you want to take time to say hi to all your fans who are the fucking best fans in the world? Hi! I have the best fans ever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Like, seriously, I love them. I was telling them I'm fans of LP's fans. Yeah, I know. I mean, the community is so, is so dope. And, and, you know, everyone's been super supportive, you know, and, and, uh, and we get through the hard times and the good times together. So it's good. <laughs> For sure. So last time we got to see each other was, dude, that was back in November. <laughs> Can you? That was was really? What was that? Was that the one that you love coming up? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Ash Studios. That was a, like another whole life down ago. <laughs> Feels like. Ago, girl. That was a long ass time ago. So you've kept yourself <laughs> definitely busy. You're gearing up for a huge <laughs> tour in Europe, and you just dropped goodbye. <laughs> I just, I just dropped goodbye. Yeah, I mean, I uh, there's so many, you know, there's so many songs on this record. I have a thousand mosquito bites on that trip. <laughs> um, there's so many songs on this record that um, I that I'm like excited for people to hear that it's just hard to like I'm so excited for a goodbye to come out of course but it's interesting because I'm just like I I just know it's coming so it's just like oh this is just like another you know and I've been living with them for so long um, that uh, this might have been one of the really early ones sorta well no this was I think this is uh, maybe yeah like kind of early early second like big writing um the first song of the second big writing push you know okay so how long ago did you write it um in um probably in december at uh, in cabo you know uh oh, no, the december 4th 2019 yeah. okay yeah so this is one you know this was going to be there's several songs on the record um that kind of came out at like pandemic time because i had time to do it so um you know i feel like i uh I feel like I, um, you know, uh, I, I just like, I got, a, I get a whole nother layer of, of, you know, depth to the record during that time, you know? Right. And so, but this was definitely, even if the record had come out last October, this would be on the record, you know? This was, this was one of the songs that was like, for sure, it's going to make it. Yeah. Cause this was like, this is from the first wave. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. You write so much. What what does it take for a song to survive in your in your world? Um, you know, I don't even think songs make it out of the gate. Um, like uh, really, um, like you know, I have several songs already for the next record. I always do that. You know, I'm always like stockpiling songs for the next record. I I like, you know, there's a bunch of songs that don't make this record, and uh, so, um, I I think I you know not that I don't finish them but like I don't know they don't like if they're not happening you know uh then I I you know I don't pursue it but like I don't know the way it goes now it's just like every song kind of gets completed and and we see you know and then sometimes it fits the record sometimes it doesn't this record feels um I wouldn't say it's a concept record but it has it's very conceptual and it's very tight as far as um you know there's a lot you know everybody heard that you know today uh it's called churches you know and um and Churches, the song, was actually uh, written very, uh, um, that was one of the first records for this, first songs for this record. Um, and uh, so, I mean, I've been excited for people to hear that for a couple of years, you know. So we can expect Churches to come out, because we're all kind of anxious, you know. You've been dropping all these amazing songs, and we're like, oh, oh thanks. But um, waiting for its owner. <laughs> Where's like, yeah. Churches? <laughs> um, I, uh. I, it's, uh, I think it's October, something like that. Cool, just for my birthday. Yeah, okay. oh, nice, what's October? Lovely, I'm October yeah. So in case you wanna, you know, do it towards the end of October. Uh, what's the date of, in October? October 25th. Oh, okay. And you're or, at, is that, it's called, Jesus Christ. Was it? <laughs> That's some good stuff. <laughs> that was pretty real, that came from the heart, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, Scorpios? No, Scorpios are great. We are great. Yeah, yeah. They're supposed to be great with Pisces, too. Yeah. We're, are you Pisces? I know. Ah, there you go. No <laughs> wonder. <laughs> so no. What, what's your favorite part of this song? Oh, I'm sorry, what? What's your favorite part of Goodbye? 
um, actually into the goodbye now. Um, I think um, I think I like the end, the uh, the several languages one. Um, that pops in my head a lot, you know, and that was fun. I don't know, like, you know, that was just one of those things that I was like, you know what I think I'm gonna do? <laughs> you know, like I'm gonna sing it in all these different languages, and it just was, um, you know, it was it was fun to like kind of like stick those in there, thread that melody, and you know, I don't know, yeah. I love that part too. You know, it's like a little Spanish, French, Italian. Yeah. Then you yeah. get to say, let's say hello to tomorrow, which was like, it's such a great way to finish a song. Oh, thanks. Because it's inspirational, you know? Yeah. What, um, you know, there's, we're constantly saying goodbye to either relationships or deaths or people yeah. that you met and you'll, you'll pro you know, you probably won't ever see again. Yeah. What's, What's a goodbye to you after you after you wrote this song? Do you feel like the meaning changed? <laughs> I mean, you know, I just went through um, some stuff in my personal life at the end of the year, and so you know, it wasn't about that. I wrote it before that, but it but it was you know that was um, coming for me. You know, um, like some changes were coming for me. I needed to uh, figure out, uh, you know, just like, um, and also it's it's not just about saying goodbye to people. It's like about you know, it's um. You know, even saying goodbye to a whole like record cycle of like you know like singing these songs, you know, and um and uh, like of a certain record, and then like kind of going into the next creative phase, you know. I mean, a lot of that, a lot of stuff is about that for me, you know. I I um I feel like you know um, relationships with like you know friends, family, uh, lovers. It's like it you know that that's um that's a constant flux of like of stuff, and also you know I, I'm I'm talking to myself as far as to move on in like, um, in thought patterns and stuff, things that I like get stuck with thinking about, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned one of the lyrics is let, you know, let it go. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that's freaking hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, um, it's like, you know, it could be anything from like even an addiction, you know? Um, uh, I think that, um, you know, like, dark thoughts will like beget dark thoughts you know you gotta like try to stir the pot sometimes and and just like um, go with the go with the flow as they say yeah my life coach always says that whenever you have like one of those thoughts that are just not necessarily good for you yeah. like, let it go just think about a cloud mm -hmm. passing by in the sky yeah. i love you and nate <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but constant practice you know and how does music help you go through the, through that and letting go? I mean, you know, music is very cathartic <clears throat> for me. I mean, I think it's like with, uh, you know, to listen to and also to sing, you know, I mean, it's like, and all my songs are like at the top of my freaking lungs, you know? So, um, that's like, you know, when I'm, when I'm up and running, you know, as far as touring a lot, um, th that feels good. You know, it's like I'm on a cycle, you know, it's been harder, like, you know, with, uh, um, I think, uh, you know, with what we've been going through, where it's like, you know, my kind of singing, uh, <laughs> um, where I, uh, you know, I've had to do like live streams and these things that are like, you know, scatter shot everywhere. And you're like, whoo, get that, get that, that show up and running for like, you know, one shot and whatever, you know. <clears throat> so when do you start touring? Um, what do you mean? When do I start to write? When do you start touring again? Oh, touring. Oh. Uh, I start in September. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm doing Lollapalooza in, um, um, the end of July. And then I think I'm doing another, uh, another, um, another thing in, um, in the end of August right now that uh, has been announced yet. And then, um, and, uh, and then we're starting in September doing a bunch of shows in Europe, um, like a bunch of different things. Um, some that are like, you know, being talked about. I mean, they're already booked, but like, you know, uh, and then some that are like smaller, like just for fun. I don't know. We'll see. Like, uh, just like kind of this, this um, industry kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see. Right. I'm not really supposed to say anything. <laughs> I'm but, like, oh shit. Am I saying <laughs> yeah. it's a road. Yes. Well, and we'll see you live soon as well. Yeah. Okay, I wanna, so there's so many people here that wanna say hi, but I wanna take this time. If you guys wanna ask LP a question, I'll make sure to pick a good one. Please, not what her favorite color is. 
<laughs> so um what are you excited about the road the fans oh yeah i mean you know that's like um i just love um i love the community the community you know i love like seeing people before the show i love seeing people after the show so you love people seeing, seeing people during the show you know it's it's like a whole flow of like um I mean, it's just, it's like kind of part of the story. Like, I feel like, you know, when I'm writing all this stuff, I'm thinking of people, I'm thinking of myself and people, and then, and then sharing it with people is um, a whole, you know, a whole nother thing. It's like very, um, come here, Rosie. Um, he, he loves to do this thing where I, like, when I'm on IG Live, he loves, or live, he loves to start he, giving me shit to throw. Right. We love <laughs> And, um, but I, yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it feels like, it feels like a party, you know? Um, a party that I'm sober at, which is, you know, awesome. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not very used to that, you know. I'm usually like, I, I have a, you know, a drink or two, you know. Right, right. Not on tour, but it's like, I, so I get to like, you know, really be present. <laughs> it's nice. Are you gonna? Is there anything that we can ex know that we can expect from your live show soon? Um, or just well, a I think, you know, I think it's when you like, we're gonna add some new songs in it. Like the new, the new shows are gonna really start. Um, probably. I don't know. Uh, we might play some new ones that haven't been released as singles yet in September, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, we, we're discussing it. Okay, I see. I know. You know, let's talk about your teamwork because mm. since I've been able to interview a couple of times, it's always through your team and you have such a fabulous team. And I feel like, you know, a lot of artists don't really talk about the importance of having an amazing team. So why? <laughs> they're doing the right thing yeah what about your team that maybe this time it clicked like oh my god this is what a team really looks like versus past managements um you know i've been with these guys for like 11 years like my management team you know um and my agent you know um and i don't know you know i think that um we're all friends you know now and we've been for a while and and uh I really care about them and I know they really care about me and I feel like we've built something that just feels um, very uh, sound, you know, like it's not like, you know, um, you know, we worked, we all worked really hard, you know, at trying to um, uh, kind of like build, build this, this thing as a structure and, and, and from a place of like, you know, meaning, I think so. I, you know, even with uh, my team as far as like Mike and Nate, And you know other songwriters that I work with. I worked with some newer songwriters on on this new record, and um, and uh, but you know uh, Mike's been producing this is the third record he's produced, and I just feel like you know there's like this um this um sense of loyalty when things are feeling good. When it feels good, you keep going. When it doesn't feel good, you should reexamine it. But if it feels good, you keep going, and that's it. You know um and uh and I believe in that. You know but um but um if it is, doesn't feel good what why that's cool. right you know so I that's just go with like yeah i go with like a good feeling and um as a result i feel um that good good things happen you know mm -hmm. for sure okay so there's a couple of good questions here that i wanted to okay okay where is it okay this is from hallis i am happy with you hallis jr what preps you for your music time like what inspires you what do you look for an inspiration what musician would you say most influenced you i think i butchered your name by the way sorry <laughs> well, whoever that um, was what do i look for for inspiration um you know uh everything uh, almost like in the mundane you know like i mean there's a lot of um you know um the, i feel like there's titles on this record that don't sound like that like you know that deep in a way but then i feel like you know when you hear the song it's it's got more like you know depth to it you know and uh and i feel like um i mean it's all an emotion for me you know what i mean i'm like a, a <clears throat> nothing if not like a very emotional person a, a rocket of emotion you know what i mean and i use it and i can wield it you know and um you know uh it's a little scary sometimes you know <laughs> to be honest you know because i just kind of like I, I, I let it rip, you know, and, uh, um, you know, it's taken me a long time to, um, kind of, uh, 
contain my uh, feelings as far as like, um, and not, and let, not let them like kind of destroy my shit, you know, like kind of to like, you know, work for me. And I, I feel like um, songwriting and singing is definitely an outlet for that, you know, because um, I feel like, you know, I, I beat down a lot of shit for a long time. And, uh, but then, you know, like, like, like if you took a balloon and you're like, you know, <laughs> started to like let out like excuse me, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it um it felt good. <laughs> so um I've always been I've been like you know using um um my songwriting as like kind of a um an outlet in the therapy. As you should, it's the best medicine, and it's so <laughs> in in so many ways, you know. So how many songs can we expect in churches? Um, I believe there's uh I know there's fourteen songs. Okay, so that's the most I've ever put on a record. I've never put that's on a song record. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, I want. I kind of want to go back to goodbye because I think a lot of people haven't heard it yet. By the way, if you guys want to listen to it, it'll be playing all day today at top of the hour on Fun for Life Radio on Dash. It's free, so check it out because you'll. What's you'll that? Be New York. <laughs> What's that? I was saying hi to one of my fans. You know. Yes. Just took a okay. little break. She's back. <laughs> What did you say? Oh, I, I was just, uh, you know, I'm like messing with my fans right now. So Good, I'm, as you should. Sure. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a minute. Natalie. Go for it, go oh, for it. Anyway, so um, what else, what else? Uh, what did you ask me? No, I was just saying that I kind of want to go back to the overall feeling of goodbye. Um, did it change, like when you were writing it, were you thinking about it being a sad song and kind of no. more? No, because, um, because uh, it was, like I said, it was one of the first records and we were so excited, you know, we were going to be in like, you know, uh, Cabo for like two weeks writing. And, um, and I don't know what, I don't know. I, I think it was like during the day and we were just like, it was like the sun was like blaring and we were like so stoked. And um, uh, like, we were like creating this thing and I don't know, I was singing something, but then Mike like pitched it into that. <laughs> That's my voice that he did something to. You know, oh, and, like, wow. and he does like that all the time because he's like a freaking genius, and he just like uh, you know, and uh, uh, yeah, he does it all over the place, all the time. In my, you know, in you know, like it didn't lost on you even, but like, but that was really cool. And I just like, I don't know, it just it just felt like a. I thought it was like I love juxtaposition, I love duality, and I think that like you know like um, it just felt like a party song. So like calling it like starting to write a song called Goodbye to it just felt very uh, you know. <laughs> Like right up my alley, like I was just like, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good night, <laughs> you know. And it has kind of like a Latin yeah. rhythm to it too. Yeah, exactly. Like it just felt like felt good, you know. Um, um, uh, we we wrote down there uh, um, with a guy named Yasmil. N Nate, is it Yasmil? <laughs> Give me his last name when you can. Um, <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, we were inspired. We, you know, even like the one that you love. I think the one that you love might have been the second song we wrote down there or something. And I. And I remember um, we, we went to the restaurant across the street where we were like hanging out a lot. And um, we, uh, and there was a, like a ranchero singer there and he was so amazing. And uh, I really, um, you know, we really enjoyed him. And then like, we just got inspired and started uh, writing the one that you love. And, uh, and it was just like, wow, you know, um, like everything, I think uh, we were just uh, super open down there, you know, and, and, and it's why I do like, you know, the trips because um, I just feel like it's this, um, it's this intense, you know, um, period of, of really going, going for it uh, um, and just only doing that, you know, it's immersive, you know. And talking about trips, like you have so many people here from all over the place, Italy, Germany, Slovakia, Poland, Chile, yeah. Mexico, obviously. <laughs> They go, yes. Okay, so I hear you have a little surprise for us. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm gonna try because um, I, you know, it's, you know, it's just one song and it's like it's a loud song and I'm just gonna play it on the ukulele. So I'm not promising anything with the, with those high notes. <laughs> you know that we love you no matter what. I know. All right, I'm gonna back you to bug up too. Yeah. All right. So LP, our new single. I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna mess it up because I don't really play it on alone much. You know, I have the lyrics here if you want to help you with that. I have, I have, 
I have one one version of it me sitting on the floor of my apartment, like you know, like um, you know, late night drunk with my friends, and um, it's not so great. So <laughs> West African, it's uh, Yoruba language, it's called. Um, I want, I just wanted to try to do something, something I really didn't know, and it, and it rhymed. <laughs> it like right, love it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a more questions, and we have to let LP go. I got I, LP, how, what do you feel about bringing someone in? I'll bring just, someone in. You want to do a threesome? Sick. Yeah, do a threesome. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Are you down? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. Let me get closer. Um, I want to see everything. I don't. Let's see. Hola, soy Cami. <laughs> I send a request to see if Hola, soy Cami is still around. I don't even know. Argentina. Okay, did you guys? Argentina. Know? Yeah. Oh yeah, one of your fans from Argent Argentina was asking me if you're planning to go to Argentina. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Does Argentina have a Lollapalooza? Do they? I know Chile does. So I would, does Argentina I, have Lollapalooza? 
Does Argentina do loud blues? Is, were, were they doing that? Yeah, I think because we were doing all those in the in um twenty twenty, but you know what happened. We I do know. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Got it. Let's see if they accept. If not, okay. <laughs> we love you so much, beautiful boo boo. <laughs> That's one last time. Oh, hi. Hey. What? <laughs> Hi. What's, What's your, your name? name? Hi. <laughs> Hi. What, what's your name? Uh, Karen. Oh, I think that <laughs> from <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> what's your name? Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet fine, you. Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> That's okay. I can't tell if it's a time lapse or she's like. <laughs> like um, where are you from? In My internet is so bad. Oh, yeah. I, listen, I was just in Mexico for a week and I'm like, like my, I had to come Mexico. home. Mexico. I, I would have stayed because I was Mexico? so insane. But yeah, I was in Hobosh. But like, I would have stayed. But then, <laughs> my time was so bad. I would have never made, been able to do this. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for coming back for us. Tienes algún mensaje para LP? I think she froze on a beautiful face, yeah. you know. <laughs> so I'm just like, all fucked up. Okay, now how do I? I don't know how to erase. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. How do we take her out? <laughs> how do we exit? How do? We, oops. How do we say goodbye? I'm sorry, Karen. Sorry, I don't know how to say goodbye to you, but goodbye. How do you do it? Yeah. All right. Well, LP, anything else for your fans before? I mean, seriously, they've been so so supportive with goodbye, and they're all like, yeah. They're so supportive all the time. I mean, honestly, you know, like just the most um, so much love coming at me at all times. You know that I just like, I just thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You really have the best fan. So again, if you guys want to listen to Goodbye, make sure to tune in to Fun for Life video on Dash. It's free. And if not, it's dropping tomorrow, right, LP? Tell us more. Oh, and tell us about the video. Oh, yeah, the video. I'm, you know, What's that? You're teasing us with the video, too. That black and white looks cute. Oh, dope. Yeah, I know. Like, you know, Steven, um, uh, again, Schofield, uh, you know, that was him. Um, I think, you know, he really wanted to leave it all black and white, you know, and I was like, I just feel like we need a little, you know, like, I don't know, we'll see, like, but it's like, you know, it's really, uh, um, it, it's pretty sick, you know, like, as far as, like, just the, the viewpoint and stuff like that, you know, it's fun, you know, like I said, like, it's like, I would say goodbye, you know, and I mean, you know, I think people are going to read into that as about, like, really about my relationship, it's really not, you know what I mean, like, it's about my relationship with myself, which um, is always, the most, the first uh, most important thing, you know, because you can't really, you know, be anything for anyone else without your, you know, yourself, you know, in a place. And, and, you know, I feel like, um, I had to like come to terms with some stuff that needed to like be worked out, you know, and, um, always, I'm always coming to terms with something, you know what I mean? Aren't you, you know what I mean? It's like, that's, 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 that's uh, like a fucking Tuesday to me, you know what I mean? And like, you know, um, hi TT. Um, and, um, and, uh, <laughs> and I just like, it's a, it just felt like it was perfect because the song sounds celebratory, the video is celebratory, but also, you know, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, I feel like I should explain it more after it's out, you know, okay. um, but because uh, I want to see people to see it for what, they, you know, they think. The but, song is available tomorrow on all yeah. digital, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the video? The video, uh, yeah, the video is available tomorrow too. Yeah. Cool. On because it's Thursday, right? It's gonna be Thursday night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday. Yes. And it's out somewhere. Like people are people have seen it. Like you know, I'll send oh. it if you want. You're, I'm telling you. Yeah, send it to me. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. All right, it's all good. Oh, but thank you, LP. Anything? Thank you. I love you. You're the best. You're such a cool person, and uh, I love talking to you. And um, I appreciate you having us on the show and and playing the song. And I'm glad you like it. I hope uh, you know. Um, I hope it's a, a shower and a grower. You know, I think it's amazing. <laughs> the thing, the thing, like, 
I'm kind of biased. Like, I don't know if my opinion counts that much because everything you do, I love. Oh, uh, thanks. You know what I, I mean? Like, well, I can't wait for you to hear the record. That's what I mean. Like, I think I'm like all, you know, like, I'm just like, like singles. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you got to hear this. And, you know, like, I, you know, I feel like a little kid that I want to show you all my, my toys right now. Of course. Well, like, <laughs> please show me all your toys. <laughs> <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> um, and, uh, okay. Well, I love you guys. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's not scary. Once you, once you see it and you get into it. I'm saying nothing, right? Trust, <laughs> just trust. <laughs> well, I'll see you. I'll let, I'll hit you. I'll hit you on the, uh, the, the quiet side. All right. Okay. Sounds good. And we can't wait for you to drop in October. Thank you, everybody. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you for commenting and all your beautiful, um, you know, uh, uh, hearts and all that stuff. I really like, wow. Thank you. Thank you. And I can't wait to see you all in person and blow your heads off with, you know, finally, like, you know, not having to sing in my, my room. Okay. Yeah, amazing. All right. Peace out, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Bye.